so the live stream for the English version of the Wuthering Waves, um, I guess game launch live stream, it's I have a lot of thoughts. It ended just now, and I just wanted to say a few things. First things first, we are getting a lot, and I mean a lot of pulls. I'm like over 50 pulls worth of stuff, and not only that, you also get a bunch more from leveling up. So uh, that's just you know part of the game. So I won't say day one. It's probably just like 50 on day one, which is still a lot to uh, go off of. Not only that, we're also getting the new banners and stuff. You guys should see it on the screen right now if I'm not too lazy and edit it in. And not only that, but we also have some gameplay, some trailers and stuff like that. I did sort of react to them, but I was kind of really tired. So I kind of just like, you know, laid back and watched it. Because boy, oh boy, was the stream terrible. So bad. I'm sorry, okay. The content creators and the voice actors that was on the live stream, um, they were pretty good. You know, they did what Wuthering Waves wanted them to do. Okay, um, I didn't really think you know the mini game section or whatever was really you know fitting the the game. We kind of just wanted to see how the game is, maybe even a roadmap, something about the game, something about the future of the game, something about the current version of the game, something about what they did. I don't know. I just feel like I needed them to talk about the game and they did not do that. They didn't do that. I did appreciate, um, you know, just like the humorous parts of it, you know, um, it was fine. It's just, I feel like they really missed the mark, right? The only part I kind of enjoyed was when they, you know, were, were like on helium and like they were kind of voice acting. By the way, if you guys didn't know, that was sarcasm. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was, a, it was a really hard watch. Let's just say that it was a really hard watch. I'm sure the next time they make a live stream, it's probably not going to be anywhere near that because this was how Genshin live stream, they were like, they were exactly like this. And then they changed it. So now it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, uh, I do like that they did bring in a voice actor and she's really good at what she does. And that was, that was kind of a cool thing. Okay, that was a cool thing. Other than that, um, yeah, I just, that live stream was a really tough watch. It had like maybe five minutes worth of footage and then the rest was just, you know, mini games and goofing around. So that is my thoughts. Okay. But what I am happy about is that the game is coming out really, really soon. You guys can get a little bit of a pre-download on the 21st of May. So make sure you guys do that so you can be one of the first to play the game on the 22nd when it does release not only that but yeah there's a lot of stuff that happened in the live stream that confirmed we are going to get a five star selector we're going to get a five star weapon in the 45th level we're going to get <laughs> guaranteed five star on the weapon banner i already talked a little bit about that in the past but yeah and then you have the standard 50 50 at 80 poles so it's kind of like hsr's banners and yeah they also talk about the shop how there's like the um with wave bands which is pretty much constellations or eidolons or whatever you want to call them or characters which is really big but something i'm scared about is that they kind of make these characters you kind of need these extra wave bands or constellations eidolons whatever you want to call them i'm kind of scared that they want you to get a multiple copies of a character so yeah that is something that has been on my mind but game is coming soon the i'm gonna put the trailers in the background and yeah i'm really excited game's coming soon i'm just just want to play the game and uh yeah that live stream live stream something that's all i have to say that's pretty much it thanks for watching